Hey everybody, so I wanted to do a quick review on this interesting book that I picked up over the summer. I think it was National Coloring Book Day or something. Anyways, Michael's had coloring books 40% off and I have a lot of coloring books already. So I saw this and it's a paint by sticker book. So it's stickers, not coloring. And the book was $15, 40% off, minus like another coupon that there was off the price. I paid six change for this, under $7. I have seen this at TJ Maxx just recently and it was not the $15. I know it was discounted, but I don't remember offhand what it was. But anyways, let me do the review. So when you open the book, it gives you some tips to get started, your introduction, and it shows you what, sorry for jerking the camera, it shows you what they're gonna look like once you've put all the stickers on. And then there are 12 pictures. So the first one I kind of started and I'll show you the other ones. And it's kind of like a, reminds me of like the paint by numbers. And I'll show you the designs. And let me zoom in for you and let it focus. So what you have here is like a paint by numbers, whereas it tells you where each sticker is going to go. And there's like, say, F. 5, A5, and then I'll show you the sticker pages, how they're divided into, by order, into sections. Moving on, there's a balloon, some fruit, different pictures, all different kinds of sceneries, the cat, and there's a horse, and flower pot, and I guess this is like a train. Okay, and then you have your sticker section. So the first one, like I said, I've already started that first page. Um, let me show you so the stickers. I pulled them out. I found that it's the best way to do it is to pull out your stickers. So you have your stickers, um, and these are the ones I pulled out, but just to show you. And each, see how they're done in sections? Like A, all the A stickers are here, and they go in order, A1 through 67. You have your B, and it tells you in the corner, let me see if I can show you, like right here, what when it corresponds to, what picture, so you know. And then it also shows you what it looks like when it's going to be done. So they have those. For each of the pictures, there's the corresponding sticker sheet. And basically, um, it's just a kind of a mindless, relaxing activity. It's kind of fun. Um, not as easy as it looks, because if you can see mine, um, I was doing this, you know, just trying it out. and. I was not very precise on mine. So basically what you do is you find, you could either go A22 and then on here, well that's the easiest way, is like I would find A22 because it's in order, um, definitely is much easier. You pick off the stickers and it's a good quality. The stickers are nice. Um, you can move them around if you need to move them around. And you just pop it down into the place of where it goes. You could do it by the sticker sheets, but then that I find that would be too hard. Like if you found you had A2 and then you have to look here and find the A2. So I think it's easier to go in like say, okay, now I need A19. You go on the sticker sheet, you pull off A19, and then you gotta put them, sorry for jerking the camera, and then you pop it down. Next one is D, so I go to my D section, D16, and I find the D16 sticker, and I pop it off again. You know, good quality stickers, I believe. And it is a little bit harder than it looks, okay. And then sometimes I can't even figure out which way the piece goes, so. Um, putting them down, and I'm kind of an impatient person, so this may not be um, the best project for me because I don't really pay much mind to details all the time. <laughs> um, but it's fun. It's, it's, you know, it's kind of, um, it's relaxing. Now I go back to my A section and you could do it by sections too if you want to keep messing around with the papers. It doesn't matter. I just thought it was like an interesting kind of something different if you don't want to just color all the time, you know, kind of just sit in there past the time. Um, definitely something you could take out with you because 
you don't need pencils and carrying a lot of stuff so it's something you could if you're on the train or on a plane or you know you're something you can take with you when you know you need to kind of fill in your time and something different than reading this is uh paint by stickers and thanks for watching have a great day